save. Great, that uh, works. So let me also let me edit this one too, and I'll make it nice. Hi. In this Swift tutorial, we'll create an app that uses a proper MVC design, which is Model, View, and Controller. The model will have two screens playing the user's favorite athletes. The user will be able to edit and add athletes. I have a starter project here. In this starter project, there is an athlete table view controller. We will implement the rest of the code and we'll start an app. We can see that we need to add an athlete type. So let's create a new file. And let's make sure it's a Swift file. Click next. And let's name this file athlete. Athlete. Now let's create a athlete struct. So in our struct, we'll have a age, we type type string. And we'll also have a name. So age will actually be an integer, but we'll have a name property. And we'll have a computed property, so description. And we'll have a league and then a team. League. And then the team the athlete is in. And an example of description here is I'm just returning their name and then is age years old and plays for the team and then the league. Now we need to create and implement a view controller subclass for a form. So let's create a new file. Let's choose a Cocoa touch class next and make sure it's a subclass of the UI view controller. And I also named it athlete form view controller. Let's click next. Now head over to the main storyboard and let's set the class of our form view controller. So let me extend the side panel to the new athlete form view controller we created. Okay. Athlete form view controller. Now let's head back over to our athlete form view controller class. And now let's add a variable property athlete of type athlete optional. The reason for this being optional is that it will be a nil when the user comes to create a new athlete, but when the user is editing an athlete, it will already have a value. Now let's add a custom initializer with this signature. And let's set self dot athlete equal to our instance athlete. And we'll also use super dot in it. Now I used Xcode fix it suggestions and it automatically added this for me. And I also call super dot initialize and I just said coder is equal to our coder. Now let's create an update view. Update view method. And let's just call that inside our view did load. So update view. Now head over to your storyboard and then open the assistant. Let's add an outlet from our text fields. So hold control on your keyboard and then just drag it over here. So I'm going to name this like name outlet. So I named this the name text field. And let me also add an outlet from the age. I'll name this age text field. Let me also add outlet from the league. I'll name this the league text field. And let me also add one last outlet from the team. And that'll be the team text field. Connect. I realized I mistyped on league, so I just added the U here. Now just add an action from the save button to hold control and drag it over here too. And this time make it an action. I'll just save the name it save button. If you're getting an issue with the outlet, I just deleted it and reconnected my age text field. So that should fix it. So inside our update view function we created here, let's check if the athlete 
is null or not. And if it is, let's unwrap it and set the text fields text to the athlete's information. So if left let athlete, so athlete we created here, and if it's equal to, so let me just set equal to um, athlete, I'll say one for now. Then I will, let me also add an else statement here. I also we just do nothing, but, and we'll set our name text field. Okay, we can set athlete then. So name text field dot text is equal to our athlete dot name. And we'll do the same thing for the four other, for three other text fields. So this is the age text field. And we'll access the athlete's age. And we'll also access their league. And finally, I'm going to access the team. Okay. One other thing, since we're just doing the age as a normal um, character, all we can do is just simply change our age over in our athlete to a string. Let's head back over to our storyboard. Let me co close the sidebar. And now we can implement the save button. So when it is pressed, this time we'll create a new athlete. So the basic code is we'll use a guard since it's optional and we'll check if there's text. If it is, we'll just set the name equal to the name and we'll set the age string is equal to the age.txt. And then we'll set the age is equal to the int value of the age string and league is equal to league.txt. And here, um, let's, we can fix this actually by, if we want to keep it as a integer, we can keep it as an integer, but when we declare it over here, we'll just set it to the string value. Okay, let me take that off. Let me close this. So one other thing, we'll go over to our athlete place and we'll put name in front of age. Let's come back to our storyboard. And then I converted the int we have here to a string. Great. So let's now head over back to our storyboard. Now, all we have to do is just implement our athlete table view controller. So let's head over to our athlete table view controller. As we can see, the error we had earlier is gone because we implemented the athlete struct. So now when we're dealing with um, the athlete table view controller, most of the code is already implemented. So all we have to do is know which of the cells has been tapped and when to refresh the data. Now let's control drag our add athlete segue to create a IB segue action. I'll drag it over here. So it's a segue action and we can just name this add athlete segue. Make sure the arguments is none and I'll just name it add athlete. We'll do a similar thing with our edit athlete. So control and then drag it over here. And I'll name this edit athlete. When the arguments include sender, connect. Now instantiate a new instance of the athlete form view controller. So I just double click the given one and add athlete. In the edit athlete, we have to do something a bit different. For what we have to do in the edit athlete segue action is that first we have to take, um, since it's a table view, we have to get the index for the path. So what I'm doing here is since it's an optional, I'm using let and if let. So first we're getting the table view index path and then we're editing that table cell. So when we edit the table view cell, um, we're basically getting the index path since it's the same as the index of our athletes array. 
And then we just return our view controller with our athlete and athlete to edit. Next, we have to enable the table view controller to receive a new athlete from our athlete table view, um, from our athlete table view controller. So what we're going to do is, okay, so this is, might be a tough one, but we have created the IB action function for our unwind segue. And I called it prepare for unwind and we'll be taking in the UI um, storyboard segue. So that's one of the parameters. So what we're basically doing here is using a guard to see if we can successfully unwrap the athlete object coming in. And basically if it is successful, we'll replace it and we'll have a new athlete with different information. If it's unsuccessful, we'll just use the old athlete. So that's what we're doing here. And now all we have to do now is connect our athlete segues together. So we have to create an eggs unwind segue. And then, um, so first let's do that. So hold control on your keyboard and drag it over to the exit. And then in the manual segue, click prepare for unwind with segue. Okay, and now we have to give a name for this segue. So let's open our attributes and let's go over here. So let's name this, um, I guess, a new or form form we'll just do segue segue form and make sure you remember the name because we are going to use this later it has to be exact or else you run into build issues so form segue okay now we have to call our segue so when we click the save um all the work we did earlier so in our athlete form no in our athlete table view all, all we did here was the guard statement. Um, basically, we're going to call that segue in our, well, let's go back to our storyboard. So we're going to call that in our save button. So let's head over back to our form view. And we implemented a save earlier somewhere. Save here, right here. So in the end, we're going to call perf, perform segue with identifier. Great. And so identifier is what we set earlier and make sure it's the exact same one or else your app may crash. And we named it segue form. And the sender would be self. So we're sending our self, the self object. And let me put this in double quotes. Okay, now let's try building it. Okay, so we have some initial success. So the app did open. And so we don't have any athletes right now. So let's click the plus icon. Okay, so we got an error. Let's, um, you know, it's common in programming. Debugging is a very important aspect. So the bug we ran into, um, the way to fix it is actually we have to go back to our athlete table view controller and where we initialized. Oh, so it's actually, let's see, maybe the athlete four form controller. Yeah, right here. So when you first initialize the athlete, um, we call super dot in it. We also have to do that in the required in it before it was a fatal error. So we have to do the same thing we did over here, but super dot in it coder um, call into coder. This should fix the issue. So let's run our app. Let's see. And yeah, so make sure that you added this line of code here and replaced it with the earlier fatal error. Okay, so the app builds. That's good and great. So it didn't crowd the error like last time. Let's see if it um, works. So let me put default age and let's say MLB and then team um, Fox for a second example. Okay, save. Great, that uh, works. So let me also, let me edit this one too. And I'll make it Johnny. Nice. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, we created a mobile app using the MVC um, design process. So model, view, and controller. And then we also explored how to um, table views and then transfer data and state management. Uh, so yeah, that's it for today's video and see you in the next one.